Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Tammy Thompson Dash TVMG. Today I am coming to you with Vlogmas. This is my Vlogmas um, day 11, but it is actually Vlogmas day 12. I am in a mad dash to get to the uh, grocery store to just pick up a few things. I actually have a client meeting in 30 minutes so hopefully I can get in and get out we'll see <laughs> if that can happen um, but I'm just running to the grocery store grab a few things some um, soda some water um, probably something I can eat um, fairly, something I can make fairly quickly and eat um, this evening Actually, I have some leftovers now that I think about it. But, um, and some, um, some necessity type of products. But I'm actually going to get those from Target. Um, I need mouthwash, toilet paper, um, soap. And I think that's it. So, I'm probably going to get that stuff from target but um some food things i'm gonna go ahead and try to grab those very quickly i don't know if i'll be able to do it in enough time um i'm not far from the grocery store but people are out here driving like there's snow on the ground i mean it's wet from rain but there's no snow on the ground and now they made me miss the light so um, i probably won't be able to get this stuff done beforehand but um yeah so i just wanted to post post another vlogmas because i haven't posted one in a while and i think i've only posted maybe three um where i actually should have like 11 or 12 but i think i've only posted like three vlogmas um posts i've just been so busy and i didn't want vlogmas to be me driving to work and me telling you guys about you know my day from the day before or telling you what i planned on doing when i got to work i didn't want to do that so um that's why i hadn't been po posting it because i have been just going to work but pretty much but now i'm starting to get some things done as far as like christmas decor and getting some stuff cleaned up in the apartment so um I will attach something that I did. Um, I'll attach, goodness gracious. I'll attach something that I did um, to this Vlogmas post. And it's also going to be a part of my um, decorating my apartment. Oh, Jesus. Decorate my apartment post as well. Um, I put my sideboard together finally and um i gave it a ranking or a rating and it's it's not great but <laughs> you guys will see in a couple couple minutes um or in a minute so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and attach that to this video so that you guys can see what i did and how it turned out um you can see the sideboard and my latest tablescape video with the fabulous family um that would be the buffalo check tablescape make sure that you head over and check that out um myself and three other hosts um did a closed collaboration for that one the next one is an open collab so um there'll be other people posting but yeah this one was a oh, lights on yeah this one was a uh, closed collab for the Buffalo Check Tablescape, and it's pretty amazing. And we all did pretty different stuff, which is very weird. Like, none of the tables even looked close to each other. So, yeah, it's a very interesting one. So, you guys should check that out. But um, here is my decorating the apartment video um, slash Vlogmas day 11 slash 12 i guess um 
yeah check this out and you'll hear my my thoughts on the sideboard today i am coming to you with a another installment in my decorate my apartment series um i am going to hook up my sideboard cabinet um so i have like all the pieces are pretty much everywhere all over my apartment so i'm gonna hop to it and then i'm gonna come back and show you guys the finished product so okay you guys uh an hour and a half later, I'm still putting this thing together, but it's coming along. I'm just taking forever. <laughs> so, um, I guess I'll see you guys in a minute. Hopefully I'll be done the next time I come on. I pray. the moment I've been waiting for maybe you have too and it is the completion of my lovely cabinet um, so I'm gonna give this one a rating of a I'm being generous when I say this I'm gonna give it an eight so as you can see the drawers are not completely even no matter how I adjusted or what I did, they did not come out even. And this one on the bottom, you actually have to lift up a little bit to get it in there. Um, there were no pilot holes in some of this um, lacquered MDF, which if anyone knows anything about um, particle board, MDF, whatever, you definitely have to have pilot holes and there were no pilot holes in the door so the hinges are a little off i'm going to try to see um if i can find someone that can help me um, maybe figure out how to adjust them because otherwise see that's what happens so i have to literally lift and tuck Jeez. so lift and tuck to close them and i have to close them um, together open them together which is just ridiculous the actual cabinet was easy to put together and this piece was easy um, legs were easy to put on top and bottom but these pieces I mean look at that that's awful and for an interior designer you don't want anything that is half baked and I mean they show them on pictures where everything is straight and I'm sure maybe they had a furniture builder but don't sell something um, in so many pieces if you don't want the average Joe Schmo to try to put it together and completely do that <laughs> so yeah the, the um, there were no pilot holes for the front so the front is kind of I mean I'm gonna try to use a a drill to try to get that a little bit tighter maybe that'll help the drawer fronts the hinges there's nothing that I can really do to help those um, all in all it's a beautiful cabinet if it's put together correctly but that was my issue with it was the if it's put together correctly situation so um, I'm gonna give, actually, I'm gonna change my score. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10 um, because that is going to bother me. Those drawers are going to bother me. So um, I may just find some drawer glides at work and replace those with the easy white drawer glides and do it like that because that's, that's gonna bother me. And they're hard to open too. So it's not just like, you kind of got a tug. And this is what I meant by when I said there were no um, pilot holes. So I had to drill into the front of the this board and then take the, the reverse the drill bit and then um, put the screwdriver on and then put those in. And then that's why there's a gap because there's no pilot holes in the actual front either, so. Um, yeah, 
not not 100 percent thrilled about this build but um it's gonna serve its purpose i do like the look of it if it was put together properly so um i am going to basically um because i bought it through lowe's i'm going to leave a review for them and hopefully maybe they'll call me and and ask me what my problems were and i will tell them um and the pictures on the um to actually put it together were super small as well um so that's what i had to deal with so basically i had to take a picture of it first and then blow it up on my phone so i can actually see because i mean that's a lot of numbers and letters and stuff and How small those are. I am like literally within an inch of the paper. So that wasn't easy as well. So I would like to tell them, you know, hey, this would be a much better product if you did A, B, and C. So hey guys. Alright. So I have my um my meeting with my client sorry i'm driving in the dark um i have my meeting with my client and i have done some other things at the house um and now i am out um getting ready to do some laundry um i have to return something to walmart that i didn't need and i'm going to go ahead and get um some laundry done and i'm also going to go to the storage unit so while my clothes are drying i'm going to run to the storage unit swap some things out i have some couple of empty bins that i got to get rid of i'm sorry my hand is over the speaker i have a couple of um storage bins i got to get rid of and um grab some other bins and um wrapping paper and some other stuff so i have some floral to get some um wrapping paper i went down in the basement and i have a whole like one of those big i don't know how many gallons but it's like basically the big tubs that like when you ever whenever you see like those crime shows and they say somebody put a body in one of those things like i have one of those and it's full of floral oh my god so uh once the springtime hits i may be getting rid of some stuff um i'm gonna kind of go through it um so i can straighten out my storage even more and plan it even better and um go from there and see if uh if i have if i can narrow it down to less pieces than what i have like i have um a bunch of hydrangeas and the white ones i love i use those constantly you guys always give me compliments on the white hydrangeas um i also have some orange hydrangeas which i use in the fall usually um and then I have some yellow hydrangeas, which I don't know why I got those. Um, if anything, I should have gotten like green hydrangeas, but um, I don't have any green ones. So I'm gonna get rid of the yellow ones. Um, I have pink lilies, I believe they are. I might get rid of those. Um, those were for the breast cancer um awareness tablescape and the pink and green tablescape like some other different ones i may get rid of those or i think i have like pink hydrangeas to those too so i might get rid of the pink hydrangeas um and keep the lilies i'm not sure i'm not sure how i'm gonna do it but i usually mix my floral with with white floral anyway so the fact that i have like all of these like multi flower arrangements full of one color is like beyond me oh no they're not hydrangeas i have a bundle i have two bundles that have like wheat grass um they may have a hydrangea or so in them i think they have like pink rose and something else in them 
and it's a bundle and it has like grass in it too just like regular like blades of grass so I can't really get rid of those so I might get rid of the pink lilies um and keep the bundles so I don't know what I'm gonna do you guys but I know that I have to narrow down some stuff and I gotta get rid of some stuff um I am going to be donating some more ornaments to my um the nail salon I go to all the time they have a huge tree their tree is huge I don't know if it's nine feet or 12 feet it's huge and it's full size so it's not like a slim or anything like that and they have almost no ornaments on it and then they have they do have like some sprays they kind of just look like winter sticks so I'm going to be kind this winter and they are going to be my recipients of like a, a ornament and um, maybe a spray maybe floral I might give them some floral um, for their tree so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start doing that every year so last year I gave ornaments to the Cleveland Playhouse um, I think I gave them two containers full of ornaments it may have just been one um, but they were the containers that they came in so I bought these ornaments and I didn't like them and I tried to return them and um, and Amazon refunded me and told me I didn't have to send them back so I actually donated them to the Cleveland Playhouse um, for just in case you know somebody um, wants to do one of the festival of trees and they don't have enough red or you know so that they can use them they can use them on different things too because uh, as all the youtubers know we use those ornaments in all kinds of stuff we don't just use them for Christmas so sometimes like they'll go in vases as like vase pop fillers and different things like that so we use them for other things too stay tuned there'll be more festival of trees there's going to be more fabulous family um tablescapes there's going to be more vlogmas I'm going to try to um do some other ones I have some other ones for you of me um doing some DIYs because I still have some DIYs to do um and you'll you'll see those coming up this week and like I said you'll see um so I've shown you the tree at work and then I have my um metallic tree that you saw a little bit of in my sophisticated ladies collaboration so I have that one so you'll see um three more trees coming up so um stay tuned for those from me in particular and then I have a couple of ladies um within the next couple of days they're going to be posting a bunch of videos of their trees so um I hope you stay inspired for this holiday season and I hope you get inspired for next holiday season. Um, hopefully, we will be in a different headspace. And we won't be, you know, in the place that we're in with this pandemic and just craziness, you know, with the civil unrest and all of this other stuff. Hopefully, we'll be in a better place next year around this time. And you guys would have gotten inspired this year. I know I've gotten inspired um, for next year so I'm already researching what to do um, if the festival of trees does happen and even if it doesn't happen I'm still going to do my festival of trees so you'll see you know four or five trees next year too so all right you guys um, I'm going to head off because I'm almost at my destination so I will see you guys on the next video remember to like comment share and subscribe hit the bell twice and you'll be notified whenever i upload new videos so until next time you guys